right, new Hollywood execs, I got it. Imagine another other edgy reboot of Fantastic Four, but this time with Filipinos. <laughs> Title, uh, TBD. Probably something where we mix the F's and the P's, like Fantastic Four. <laughs> <laughs> A brown band of extraordinary misfits tries their best to live up to their Caucasian counterparts or the Filipino-American experience. The lead, Bruno Mars, America's starry voice darling dancer, an immaculate ampersand, a symbol between their hopeful little letters and our capital investment. He is friendly, familiar, cocktail of playful pop and non-threatening color. Who better to fit Mr. Fantastic than the textbook definition of flexible? Let's light up the big screen with a real life fire better to pass the human torch to. Studies show that Dante Bosco is our best bet. This bangerang boy tests well with millennials. But no, 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 he has to be this part. Why brand him with anything other than fire when that is what makes him most bankable? The invisible woman can be played by Leah Salonga or Joan Almadillion or Maya Barreto, or whoever was the last person to play Miss Saigon. All of these women are sure to have experience, force, field, and complaint at becoming unseen when we no longer wish for them to be in the spotlight, but who to be the thing? What to be the thing? You know, if we're just gonna CGI the thing anyway, can we not just get Tatum or Hardy to play the role? Huh. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not saying it has to be a white thing, but that this is a thing white tends to do. Mm. Insert itself in places it does not need. Offer up a piece of the pie only to renegotiate appetite with half-cooked compromise. Like, let's make the villain Filipino too. Doctor, doom, two things these people should be abundantly familiar with, self-medicating a self-colonial mindset. Sure, they'll appreciate that it's so apropos. Perhaps, perhaps enough to overlook the fact that the thing is the best metaphor for Filipinos. The thing never asked for a sandpaper skin or a voice full of gravel, but he is not made to feel less than. No one asks for the thing to act more like them or applauds how progressive it is for the thing to be included. The thing has always been a part of the team. The rock, the concrete, the cornerstone that holds his home together. The thing has to be Filipino. To show that even if you're not polished or sparkling, you can still be the hero. That your brown can shine just as brightly before we fade to black. Thank you.